Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to the Sweetwater Minute. Today I've got a real game changer for you. It's no secret that Pro Tools is the leading DAW software in the world. It's used in commercial studios, project studios, home studios, whatever level studio you're working in, more than likely you're familiar with Pro Tools software. Well, today Abbott made a major announcement. They've announced Pro Tools 9, and there are a lot of big changes with this software. Let's check it out. One of the changes is the way the Pro Tools software family is organized. In the past, there was Pro Tools LE and Pro Tools HD. Pro Tools HD requiring the DSP cards and the additional hardware to operate with your computer. Pro Tools LE running on FireWire and USB-based interfaces. The Pro Tools 9 HD software still works in the same way. It uses the DSP cards that go into your computer, the additional hardware, and that gives you a really top-notch, super powerful, power-on-demand DSP-based system. But the big change is with Pro Tools 9. Check this out. So what you're hearing and seeing there is Pro Tools 9 software running on a MacBook Pro with no interface attached. It's running using core audio and the sound you're hearing is actually coming from the MacBook speakers. So this is a totally native operation of Pro Tools software with no additional hardware required. This is a huge deal, something that people have been asking for for a long time. In addition to being able to run the Pro Tools 9 software with no hardware, you can run it with any other manufacturer's audio interface hardware as well. So no matter whether you have a USB interface, whether you have a FireWire interface, or you have an interface card that goes into your computer, you'll be able to run the exact same Pro Tools 9 software as if you were running Avid hardware. Of course, there are still advantages to using Avid's hardware with Pro Tools 9 software. You'll get better reliability, better performance, and much tighter integration between the hardware and the software. But the fact that you can use any manufacturer's audio interface, or no interface at all, is really a big deal. Being able to take your laptop, sit on an airplane, and work in a full version of Pro Tools is so cool. Another big change in Pro Tools 9, and again, this is something that people have been asking for for a long time, is the addition of automatic delay compensation. When you insert a plug-in, the program automatically compensates for any latency or delay that the plug-in might be introducing so that everything runs totally sample accurate. Of course, there are many other new features in Pro Tools 9 as well. For example, Multitrack Beat Detective is in there. So if you have multi-track drum parts, you can use Beat Detective to tighten up the groove, to fix things that may be out of time. Also, the, the uh, software now supports up to 96 audio tracks, so you have the capability to do very large sessions running just on a laptop without any additional hardware. Uh, there is full support for Euphonics Yukon. So if you're using an MC mix or an MC control, there actually are specific drivers now written for Pro Tools that tightly integrate those control surfaces with the Pro Tools software. I've had the privilege of having a pre-release version of the Pro Tools 9 software for about three weeks now, and I also have an MC control in my studio. Being able to use the two together really gives you a, a very unique hands-on experience of operating Pro Tools 9, once again, with no hardware whatsoever. So I can pick it up, throw it in my laptop bag, take it wherever I want to go, and I'm working on a full version of Pro Tools. Here's one more really cool thing about the Pro Tools 9 software. With the addition of the Complete Toolkit 2, you can basically take the software to full feature parity with Pro Tools 9 HD. So you'll have the compatibility and support for icon controllers. You'll have up to 512 voiceable tracks. Uh, basically everything that Pro Tools 9 HD will do, Pro Tools 9 will do with the addition of the Complete Toolkit too. There's so much more to talk about with Pro Tools 9 software. So many more new features, so many details. You really have to say it, this is a game changer. Avid's really changed the way we're going to be using Pro Tools in our studios. If you're an HD guy, you'll also have this software available to run on your laptop. If you're new to Pro Tools, it's going to get you into the Pro Tools world without having to have an interface or with any other interface you might have. If you're an LE user, it's going to step you up to where you basically can have feature parity with Pro Tools 9 HD. It's really a big deal, and again, I'll say it, it's a game changer. I'm really excited about this release from Avid. If you have questions about Pro Tools 9, if you need more information, more details, give your Sweetwater sales engineer a call. They've been completely trained on this software. They know all the ins and outs, and they'll be able to help you out. I'm Mitch Gallagher. Thanks for joining me for the Sweetwater Minute.